welcome back to my crafty space. In today's video, we are going to continue working in my Summer Stories 2022 notebook. This is a notebook, if I haven't mentioned it before, that I purchased from a store called Mochi Things Online. I was first inspired by Heba Alcibai to work in this type of format, and I've seen a couple of other crafters using this same notebook since then. It's really fun, and I've super enjoyed figuring out different configurations that will work for me. I do like to spice things up and add some variety. So I have created different layouts that take up larger portions of the book, but that still have, or of the page, but that still have a grid-like view to them or, or layout, I suppose I should say. Now, uh, as I have mentioned before, I do have a post here on Patreon that includes all of the digital templates that you can use to create your own photo collages inside of Photoshop, and I'll make sure to link that in the post below. So today's story is all about a night of playing board games up north with friends. I have printed a photo here that is more square. It's still a rectangle, but it's more square-like. That's going to go down here in the bottom just to, again, create some larger photos on this layout. And then I've got a couple of overhead photos that I took of everyone playing games together, which I think this one is going to go, yes, that way. I have my journaling pre-printed on some matte photo, not matte photo paper, it's on matte clear sticker paper. And then the rest of this I'm going to fill in with stamps. This time around, I'm using only one stamp set. This one is called Game Night and it's from Studio Calico. Um, at this point, when you're watching this video, the paper person game, it might be called Game Night or something about games. The collection just came out. So if you're looking for stamps that have that type of theme, I definitely recommend checking out Paper Person. Since I know this one is currently sold out on the Studio Calico website, I'll still provide a link below in case you want to hit the notify me button for when this comes back in stock. So for this one, I'm going to use the game night title. I want to subtitle this with an evening of fun. This stamp set comes with a little star icon. So I'm thinking I might add some stars up here just to fill in the space. For the section here, I want to use this board game and then have my journaling go up to the top. And then I want to use just a portion of this stamp to put at the bottom of that box. So I'm just gonna kinda lay that one that way. What else do I have here? I use the planning sheets to help me remember what exactly I was going to use. Um, so we'll do that. And then I've got go in the arrow that will go on the photo. And I think that's it. Okay, so those are all of my stamps this time around. Uh, the other thing I'm, I would like to mention is just the colors I'm going to be using this time. I've got the inky black color from Studio Calico Color Theory. This I'm just going to use to add my date stamping. I may also use it on the photos so that that comes out really clear and crisp. So let me actually, we'll do that. So we've got the June 11th and actually maybe this game night I want to do in that color as well. Hmm. Yeah, let's go ahead and do the go with the arrow in the same black color. Just inking that up really good. Uh, I feel like a corner. I didn't prime these. <laughs> Just winging it, going for it. This I want to put in between everybody here. Looks good. Okay, and then I just want to figure out where do I want to put color. So I think that's good. So we'll stick those to the side for now. Um, this, I think maybe this I'll do black, this I'll do black, and the rest of this, and maybe this I'll do black. Is that what I want to do? Just thinking this out loud, you know? I think I'll do the stars and the peach. The peach is called Peachy Keen. 
And then the blue, I think I'll do the board game piece, an evening of fun. And maybe this can be blue. We'll try it. So what I'm going to do is put this stamp onto a block here. Uh, you know what, before I do that, let's, let's go ahead and add the title on here. Since this is black, I might as well use everything I need the black for, and then I can put this away. It's generally how I like to go about this, is uh, one color at a time. Okay, so... In case there's game night and then evening of fun will be blue the little board game piece will be blue this one I want it to be in black and then my journaling will go under that you can be black. This one says currently playing. It's just a circle shape. Okay. I think that is probably good for the black. Done with you. Next, let's do this peach. So this is peachy keen. And I like it because the boys, Jonah and Aaron, both have a kind of peachy salmon colored shirt on. So this is gonna help tie in some of that color. So let's go like that. I suppose if I need more, I can come back to it again. And then we've got some blue. So for this, I have a little board game that I'll put in the middle. And then my subtitle here, it says an evening of fun. And that's going to go right underneath this. Okay. Just trying to uh, have my colors show up on this layout in three or more places. It's generally what I try to go for. Um, okay, now this is going to be slightly tricky here at the bottom. So what I'm going to do, actually, I just um, was using this. Okay, this is like some sticker paper that I was using for my planner that I tossed because it... Um, It ripped. Okay, so what I want to do for this is I want to take my stamp set. This one says games played and winners. I'm adding it all the way butting up to the edge because when I stamp down on this, I don't want my block to hit the coils here. So by keeping it butted up, butted up to the edge here, I don't run that risk anymore. So then I'm going to ink this up and the sticker here is going to act as a mask. So it'll help my ink not get where I want it to, or, you know, stay off of where I don't want it to be. So there's that. So we've got games played and winners. So now when I remove the sticker carefully, so I don't accidentally rip my page, then I've got a clear edge there, which is exactly what I wanted. So let's stick the photos down and then we can decide if there is room for any other stamping. I think I might put the word win into the middle of that. Okay, so this one goes here. And then the journaling 
Yeah, man. There we go. Oh. Can go there. Okay. So, do I want, I think I'm good on the stars. I don't need any more stars. But I was thinking about putting the word win in there and I might do that again in black. Like so. Okay, and then I think that's pretty good. I could color in the, the words game night, but I actually really like it being just black and white. Um, this I wanna put, the game played was a uh, ticket to ride junior. And the winners were, the winner was Ryan. He was the winner. Okay, there we go, friends. So that is another layout in this notebook done. Still really super loving the way that these pages are coming together, how easily they come together, how quickly they come together, and focusing on those little stories that uh, happen each and every day. All right, friends, that is going to be it for me for today. I hope you enjoyed this video and that it inspires you to focus on some of the good small stories happening in your life right now too. Next month, I'm going to continue working in this notebook. So you'll see another, I believe, five layouts come together. Those videos will come out on Monday of every week. And then in September, we will return to the Let's Finish What We Started series and I will finally complete May's baby album. I just have a couple of layouts left to go and I just need some time to sit down and design those layouts, get everything printed so that I'm ready to put them together. All right, friends, I hope you have a fantastic rest of your week. I'll see you back here on Wednesday for the next Photoshop Basics lesson, and then the Monday after that with a new process video. Enjoy the week ahead. I will see you in the next video. Bye, friends.